Hey guys, I am back. All right, now the muscle we're gonna call it's called the lats. The lats is just here. You touch your shoulder blade, you feel it, and all that muscle that comes run down to your lower back along the rib cage is your lats. Now, what does the lats do? The lats is an elbow extender which means when you're reaching something else you want to pull it down the elbow comes down but what's the best to touch it so chin ups works your legs this movement works the guns The muscles between your shoulder blades. If, you, if, you, if, if everything is ideal, look, guys. If you have ideal, you have no postural issues, no imbalances, nothing. You've got good posture. Your teacher never told you like my teacher told me, Nate. Stand up straight. Your posture is fine. You can do this <laughs> as much as you can probably pull. You can go wide and work on your lats because when the lats are fully like massive bat wings your arms are hanging out like that and it's internal rotation so when i want you to think internal rotations is when you say it's that you're going in it's like you're parting the red sea no you're not god let's not sin with that speech and supinated is this you got a soup ball in your hand this is from my uh, nursing classmate, uh, Ebony. She said that, and I still remember it. It's five years ago, I still remember it. So, so cheers for that, Ebs. Uh, now, yeah, now, that's lats. So lats, you can do many things, many, many, many things. You can, Stand here like a suitcase, you can leave with the elbows, just bring it close to you as possible. Now, always it goes a bit forward, you don't want to, it's not a straight down movement. The lats work better when you do that. Now, let me go this side, I want to even it out. It's OCD, but I know I'm demonstrating, but so you don't want to look straight, that's not good. You don't want to look down, you round your back, you sort of want to look about a foot away. You just want to keep looking there. Yeah. Chest up. Look, everyone got different builds. And um, you find anything comfortable position where you don't feel the pressure on your backs. Look, back in the old days, they used to suck in their gut. And uh, and they just used to do that. Now everything is, I don't know where it changed, but everything is not supposed to flex your spine. Look, for me, I don't believe in that. Look, um, all right, no hitting the backs, no aggro. Of course, this is conditioning workout. It's not a martial arts workout. And I don't believe teaching just anyone martial arts. Martial arts is about preservation. The knowledge is to learn the knowledge. All these one punch killing clowns, I don't think they should be taught. They shouldn't be taught. All these instructors take their money and they teach them. And these clowns, these young men who haven't been initiated, they don't know anything about the preciousness of life. We are guardians of the earth. We have not inherited it from our fathers. We have power from our children. So that's initiation. That's what being a man is about. All right. Yeah, it's, it's about looking after one another, not not punching people out when you don't agree with them. All right. That's a side note. Now, there's another way you can do the rows. Time to grab the big boys. The big boys, the five kilos. <laughs> Uh, I 
used to remember when I used to work in the small goods. <laughs> Grab carcasses, bellies and just throw them around. They used to fair a bit, you know what I'm saying? Five kilo steady weight. It's funny, isn't it? Look, I've never been a, a strong bloke. It's, it's just a lot of it. It's just conditioning. And I hope this doesn't stuff up the ankle. Hang on guys, I'll just come to the camera and check it, so I don't want to constantly be adjusting. Yeah, that's that's perfect. This is cut off. Right, I'm not interested, interested right now. Alright. Here. Now, don't go too wide with your, out with this leg. Careful, you don't want to hurt your groin. Because you can get a hernia. So this, I don't like doing this because it irritates. I don't know if most of you guys have this problem, but it irritates if you, especially when this weight is heavy and you counter acting and you're pushing into there. And it depends on how you got your workouts, your exercises structured. So you might, if you let's say you go, you do a rowing and a pressing, and you already worn, pre worn your front delts, which helps you assist you with your pushing movement so it's not good so ideally you just have it for balance don't try to do anything should suck in your gut uh, look somewhere there your arm look I just let it hang loose see how it is it's not hanging in a vertical plane it's sort of got its internal rotation that's how the arm is now that's how the arm is with this, it's up to you. The old school guys, they let the arm hang a bit lower. It's gonna get give a more stretch and pull it out. And uh, to your hips. Never up to your ribs. It's always to your hips. It's like pulling in a karate punch. Or other things, or pulling in a person for a judo throw but that's not all right let's just keep on topic guys we're going on a tangent well i'm going on a tangent uh, all right now from here you squish but the shoulders is loose tight forearms shoulders loose um, some guys trying to go the thumb over just to disengage the forearm and just use the arms like a hook but for me, it depends on the weight. Some guys use straps and there's, I don't know what they do, but it's five kilos, you don't need straps. All right. All right. So, you think your spine a little bit, a little bit arch, but stuck in your gut. So, you, know, you feel, feel your obliques, your side uh, muscles drawing in side abdominals for stabilization when you suck in your gut in that position so it stabilizes the hip now you never floppy when you ever do an exercise remember that you have a solid base it's like a crane solid base then the top does the movement so from here from here all right for me i suck in the gut the shoulder does not come down like the old body guys it stays there the rear delt and a little bit of the rhomboids and the middle traps and the lower traps are keeping the shoulder there. It's not moving. So from here, you fall up, you, you shake out the arm so it's nice and loose, and you the left side engage nice and soft. So this is perfect. Now you suck in your gut sort of look and squish and up now from this <laughs> so sort of I have it here just to clear because as you can see that pointy bit it's gonna catch my knee if I don't do that now I'm not trying to pull this with my arm you see my elbow I'm trying to think someone got me the headlock or something and I'm just <laughs> just driving up the elbow 
look guys, I'm a trained fighter, so I have muscle memory, and I think these thoughts, so don't get any ideas, Nate might be whacked, I'm not, I only whacked anyone in self defense, I never started anything with anyone, and that's the way I like to live my life. Going to the other side. Uh, what do I think? I still want you to. I want to give you the side view because I gave you the front view. Yeah. Sorry to have my back to you guys. Let me see. Yeah, perfect. I just walked over. Walked over to the camera to check it just to see. That you can see me. Hopefully this doesn't chop off my head. <laughs> oh, Alright, right. another thing guys is see how I just rolled it and what I did is I loosened this up. Now when people do their exercises, I see them do perfect form when they're racket. They go all sloppy and they just put it in. Like magically becomes a non resisting object. You could, that's how people hurt themselves. It's ridiculous. As Tui would say, use your coconut people, use your common sense. For me, that feels solid. Feels natural. Got a bit of bent in my... You never lock out your joints, guys. Otherwise, it's your skeleton taking the weight and your muscles aren't doing it. Wear and tear, bad news, re knee replacements, hip knee re replacement, shoulder surgery, Elvis, uh, all this crap, you don't want it. So, look after your joints. All right. Yeah. You want to feel it. See, this is where my arm is, and that thing is not there. So, I just push it a little bit. That's perfect. You want it at the perfect for your body, for your life. See how it's moving? Stupid thing. All right, excuse me, guys. I'll find something. I have this handy, my little handy friend. This is a packaging, I keep everything in the packaging. Yeah. Even if you're rich, don't waste money. Look after your things, it will last a lifetime. Yeah. Don't follow the trends. Just waste money, waste your time. Just flow the crowd, you don't know where the hell they go. Why are you following? Do your own thing. Be your own person. Love for everyone. Pray for those who persecute you. That's the good Lord said. Anyway, he didn't want to be called good himself. He said, Why they are called me good? Only God is good. I don't know what that means, but that's that's in the Gospels. You can look it up. Look up, read Matthew. You can probably read it in two hours. Alright, for me, I, I changed it here. See, normally I have it here, but this bench is going to that side, so I'm just countering this here, just there. It's perfect. Suck in my gut, look somewhere, and feel your spine has to feel solid. And from here, it's perfect. It's perfect, baby. Yeah. Let's see. I've got a good contraction I always get a good contraction on my left side compared to my right see I'm lowering slowly it's good for your joints and muscle under tension it's a good bang for your buck I'm shaking the reason for that is because I'm stabilizing you know it's just different each movement is different each side is different so my, <laughs> my tricep had a good workout. That's time to hold me in place. All right. That's enough, guys. Bye-bye.